there's not much sign from the outside but in the middle of last night up on the first floor a fire started here by the morning it had killed four people two of them children I can confirm that two were women and two young children were taken to hospital and were pronounced dead at the hospital I can also confirm that a seven-year-old girl survived the fire and is, uh, has minor injuries consistent with smoke inhalation. The girl was found in the back garden. Fire crews spotted her after they'd recovered the four others. It's thought she fought her way out of the fire by herself. Tonight she's stable in the nearby Chesterfield Royal. I feel sorry for her. She's lost everything, hasn't she? She's got to pick herself up and get on with her life. And it's going to be hard for her. Let's hope she gets all the support she can from the rest of the family who's involved. Just cannot comprehend what, you know, what she's thinking now or feeling. But, um, yeah, it's, it really hits it home to you that, you, you know, it can happen anyway. This afternoon, fire investigators and police forensics officers were trying to piece together exactly what happened. They told us it's too early to say if this fire was an accident or deliberate. Two fire crews were here in less than 10 minutes this morning after the alarm was raised. When firefighters went in and up to the first floor, they found a place that was smoke logged. That means the smoke was so thick they couldn't see their hands in front of their faces. An officer told me the fire had probably been burning for two hours. Specially trained officers were working tonight with the family of the victims and residents have set up a Facebook page to buy toys for the girl who escaped. No one in North Wingfield can quite believe what's happened on their road and who it's left behind.